What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel and welcome to this week's video. This has got to be the windiest that I've set up, the awning room. It's pretty nuts, but I think as long as the guy lines are taut, we should be good. We should have no problems. I'm out here in 11 Mile State Park in uh, Lake George, Colorado. We got a beautiful sunset starting. I guess the cool thing about camping in a state park, which I don't ever do, I was hoping to do some fishing. The weather report did say that it was like a 14 mile an hour wind, but I mean, this honestly seems more like a 20 mile an hour wind. It is pretty ridiculous, but aside from that, beautiful views all over. Tomorrow morning shouldn't be quite as bad. And then it's just a really nice, it's a lot brighter orange in person than what I'm seeing on the camera lens. But yeah, this is, this is the campsite. Well, I was gonna do some burgers as soon as I got here, which I thought was gonna be closer to about noon, but it wasn't. So instead of burgers, I'm gonna do a steak, which was gonna be my dinner. And then I've got burgers for tomorrow. The camp has to be set up, uh, packed up rather, at I think she said like noon or one o'clock or something like that. So I gotta be sure to be out of here by then. So maybe first thing in the morning we'll go fishing. There's a couple coves up here, not very windy. So maybe I can toss around there and get lucky with a trout or something like that. And aside from that, we're just gonna be dealing with the, uh, dealing with the wind the whole time. Now that I have this place a little more presentable, we got the space heater running. We got the cooler in here. And we're gonna check out what we got for some Din Din. Check that bad boy out. $8 freaking almost a pound of New York strip. That ain't too bad. And then we are going to pair that with some potato chips. Sun chips, that is. And it's not looking too bad, but this is not the ideal way to cook a steak. But it is in a fire van. Like it to be a little more rare than that. But you win some, you lose some. So, anyways, I'm going to knock out the steak. And it's still, I mean, it's relatively early. It's just dark outside, so you can't do much. Um, I'm gonna knock out the steak and then I'm gonna figure out a game plan for the next couple of hours before I get tired of it. That was awesome. Hmm. What a good meal. All right, you all. I guess that's it for me tonight. I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, interesting night's sleep last night. Uh, relatively calm winds, and they still are this morning. But two o'clock on the dot, I got woken up by some crazy gusts of wind. <clears throat> and then I promptly went back to sleep, and I woke up around 6.30. Uh, I think the breeze started to pick up then. And now there's just, it's a nice breeze. It's a little chill in the air. The sun's barely up. It's like 7.30 right now. But I mean, yesterday the lake was all white capped and I mean, now it's just smooth. Really nice out there, it looks awesome. So I'm making my way back to camp 
Now I might throw on some real pants here soon. And then I think I want to get down to the water. I don't really feel like taking the time and packing up everything right now. So I think I'm just going to walk down to the water and cast a rod around. Don't think I'll have much luck, but it'll be fun to do. Give me something to do while the wind is still relatively calm. If the if the weather report is right, it's going to be calm until uh, I think it was like noon when it finally picks back up. So that's not too bad. While I'm hanging out, I guess I'll tell you why I chose 11 Mile State Park. 11 Mile State Park was chosen for celebrating my 250 subscriber milestone. Uh, I know in the grand scheme of things, you compare it to Mr. Beast or Cletus McFarland, um, they have millions of subscribers, so 250 is nothing. So I've been posting videos a little over a year now on a consistent basis. And I guess just a few months ago, probably three or four months ago, I chose to uh, strictly post on Tuesdays as opposed to just randomly when I had a video ready. I don't know, it's just been a lot of fun all around. Um, it's something totally new to do. It's fun to to get the car some exposure. I'm a car guy, I enjoy cars, I enjoy modifying my cars, and, and I enjoy showing them to people, of course. So little things like that, I can include those in the videos, and I find that to be a lot of fun. In general, I've always liked to go camping, so it's just interesting to be able to share my hobbies with you guys. And so to my 250 subscribers, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, a few of you are pretty active in the comments, and I really enjoy that. Kind of cool. Um, it's just a fun, fun community to be around and, you know, just the creativity and the, the thought process through making these videos. It's, it's just something really interesting and new for me. So I thought I'd... I thought I would take a minute and thank all my subscribers and uh, you know hopefully we continue to grow and we make something of the channel and if not here's just a bunch of documentation of things I like to do and, and I, that's kind of cool too. But I don't know anyone in real life that that makes YouTube videos and, and especially with a, a passion and consistency like I like to show and, and what I, I think I show you guys. So, anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's let's get back to camping. <laughs> Cool, we're making our way down to the lake now. Got my two rods and we're just gonna flip some like Rapala plastic lures, bass lures, see what happens. Probably not gonna catch anything, I'm gonna assume. But you honestly never know. Um, yeah, so this will be a lot of fun. is a little much to be fishing in in my opinion. We're making it back to camp now. Weather report said it's not it's gonna be the calmer of the two days. And I'd argue this might be windier than yesterday.
I don't know. Different video. Not as exciting. That wind really bummed me out. And I, I checked the weather report a million times. And then, like I said, I checked it on extended network out here. And it's just not even close to accurate. Nowhere near accurate yeah so anyways that's that's gonna do it for the video guys thanks for tuning in and uh thanks for subscribing thank you to all my 250 some odd subscribers if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more of these adventures